In this video, we are going to learn how to return multiple results using one single lookup value. As we can notice, whenever I change the shelf location, all the items that I have at this specific location appear here in this list. I'm using the xlookup function, however, you can also use the vlookup function or the hlookup function or the index match function and so forth. And as the data set, I'm using an inventory report. However, if you want to use a different data set that I'm using here, be free to do so because it's going to work in the same way, okay? So let's find out how can we create this lookup function to retrieve multiple results using only one single lookup file. So to the right, as we can see, I have the location that I need to look up for, such as a1, A2, A3, this is my criteria. You can use a different criteria, okay? So let's say B1, or let's keep up with A2. Then I need to retrieve all the items that are in this specific location, A2. So if I go here to the data set, I can see that I have many different items. And the first one in the list that are in the, that is in the position A2 is the magnesium. So this is the first one. The second one is going to be here, multi mineral second one the third is b12 and so forth so i need to check throughout the entire list to make sure i can pick all the items that match with my criteria however the x lookup function the v lookup function and all those other functions that i said before cannot retrieve multiple results using one single lookup value let me show you here a practical example equal sign x lookup double click one two the lookup value is the value above and then trauma the lookup array is going to be let's say the shelf location and then trauma the return array is going to be the product name if i hit enter i'm gonna have magnesium as the first product at the bottom right corner of the cell i can click hold and drag down to make sure i can try to retrieve multiple results we got here a arrow because if I click in the first cell, one, two, I can see that the reference is in the cell A2, the location, right? But if I go to a cell underneath, one, two, we can see now instead of the location be right here in the location, the reference is just right here. So what I can do is click in the first cell, one, two, make sure I can lock this location right here. And to do it, this specific cell is the cell M3. So I can click within the M3 and then hit the F4 key to add the dollar sign before the column and before the row that way i can lock this cell in the place now i'm gonna hit enter and i'm gonna bring this formula down again now everything is working fine however the problem is we have the same result but uh, with we think yeah it's correct because what is the change between this function right here to one function to the bottom it's the same function so how can we have different results if we are using the same function so what we can do is the first appearance for the a2 can be the number one and the second the, the number two and the third the number three and so forth let me select all those numbers and i want to enumerate until the number 20. at the bottom right corner i can click hold and drag because the way excel can continue to create the sequence for me like this now again what i'm gonna do is i can append or couple the number one with a2 the first appearance for a2 and then we're gonna have the second appearance for a2 again the third appearance for the a2 again and on and on but think with me we need to match the uh, lookup value with those numbers one two three four and so forth however we need to do something similar to the report to match the informations so that way i can use here a helper column that can be the, the column h i'm gonna go here to the second row because the first one is the header and in the second row, I want to input the equal sign and I want to count all the appearances for the first shelf location. And the function that can help me with that is count if. Double click one, two. As the range, I want to use the first cell that I have, A3, okay? The cell where I have the A3 shelf location. And I want to input here the colon, colon, to basically duplicate the cell before C2, colon, C2. Trauma and my criteria right here is going to be again the same cell that I'm using. Before I close parentheses, I want to go back here to the first C2, select, and then hit the F4 key to lock just this specific range. Now I can hit enter. Don't need to close parentheses. Okay, one. 
Let me bring this formula down. As we can notice, I have many different results. One, two, three, two, four, three, one, and on and on. And this is why those results are basically counting how many times each one of the shelf locations appear in the list. If I go here, let's say for to this number four right here, one, two, we can see that the range is this one right here. And the criteria is the A3. How many times A3 appears in the list? One, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is why we got four as result. Now that we have this result, we can again double click in the first cell, one, two. What we're going to do here is immediately after the last parentheses, I'm going to append upper cent, upper cent to append the cell itself where I have the shelf location. And then I can hit enter. Then we are going to have coupled the counting of how many times this specific cell appears in the list and the, the shelf location itself. Now I have unique values. Let me bring this result down again, okay? And as we can see, now we can use the same logic that we did right here to this list, but we're not gonna do it in a, a specific range. We're gonna do it within the XLOOKUP function. And we can do the same to the VLOOKUP or to the index match function and so forth. Uh, let me again, equal sign create, the XLOOKUP function, double click, one, two. But this time, instead of using the lookup value as the A2, what I'm going to do is A2 and then, or sorry, the first one is the, the counting. So let me select the value to the left. This is the first one. And then I want to append a percent coupled with the location and be mindful to lock in this cell with the F4 key. And then, and then the lookup array is going to be the column H comma and whenever those values match i can retrieve as result the column d the item and then i can hit enter okay let me bring this formula down like this and yeah that's it now i can have all the results for one single lookup value maybe we can do some chains here such as we can get rid of the arrows let's say in the first cell one two immediately after the equal sign, I can use the if arrow function, one, two, and as the value argument, I'm gonna use the XLOOKUP, and then let me input the comma, and as the value, if it's a arrow, open and close quotations, close parentheses, enter. Let me bring it down again. Now we have all the different results without the arrows, and if you want to continue to improve the design of this spreadsheet, what we can do is select the column H, I, J, and K, for example, and then you can go to the Home tab and change the font color to a white one. So this is how we can use one single lookup value, or actually it's not just one single lookup value, but it's kind of like just one single lookup value and retrieve multiple results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, because every day has a new video.